Hello and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to go through a 15 minute morning flow designed to help get your body moving each day. We're going to start in your table on your hands and your knees. If you need any padding, you can bring a blanket or pillows underneath your knees. Letting your knees be right under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. I'm going to start with your cat-cow movement. So as you inhale, letting your belly draw down, chest to open. As you exhale, letting the spine around, navel draw in. So you need to find this movement with your breath. Breaths in to open, breath out to round. You can stay right here with this movement, just up and down. If you want to add a little bit more movement as you inhale, letting the chest draw forward, maybe shifting your weight forward. As you exhale to round, maybe pressing yourself back. Allowing yourself to go forward and back. If you want to take this a little bit further, you can let your hands come further forward. As you inhale, letting the hips draw forward. And as you exhale, letting the hips draw back toward your heels. It's finding this movement forward and back. Take one more round of deep breath in and out. And finding your neutral tabletop, taking a few circles of your hips above your knees, going in either direction. We're going to find both directions. Just taking a full range of motion, moving through your hips and your knees. Allowing it to move through your shoulders and your wrists and going in that other direction. And we're going to work out your wrists and your toes. So taking one hand at a time, let your fingers may become pointing towards the side or start to work around back towards you. If out towards the side is enough, you can take both hands to the side and just finding a rock side to side. If you want to let your fingers go a little bit more, you can do one hand at a time and start to shift forward and back. Or shifting towards wherever your fingers are pointing. So if they're pointing out towards the side, start to shift your, your body towards where your fingers point. If you're doing one hand, allowing that hand to relax and going towards the other side. A little bit of movement. Allowing the wrist and your forearm to start to open. gently to release and we're going to work the backs of your hands this we're going to do one at a time it's taking your left hand bringing the back of your hand if your elbow stays bent the whole time it's okay beginning to press the back of your hand the back of your wrist and beginning to straighten into your arm and you stay right here letting your weight shift towards your heels still trying to keep the back of your wrist down on your mat you can find a little bit of movement forward to back or just holding with that space. One more breath here in and out. Bending your elbow to release, you can shake out the wrist. We're going to work to the other side, taking the back of your right hand and making sure the back of the wrist is drawing towards the ground if the elbow is heavily bent that's okay but wherever you end up working towards straightening into the arm and then maybe leaning your hips towards your heels you can find movement or just be static keeping the pressure on When you're ready, gently to release. You can shake out the right wrist. We're gonna work on your feet next. So letting your knees draw towards each other, letting your toes curl under. You can use your hands if your toes don't wanna go all the way there. And staying right here, slowly letting your hips start to draw towards your heels. If you feel pressure in your knees, you can bring a bolster or block or just skip this entirely. So you can work your hips all the way towards your heels. Maybe let your hands walk back towards you. Maybe coming up to stand. As 
So with this, you can stay for a lot longer, maybe pause the video and stay here for like five minutes, or you can come right out. I'm not going to be here that long. Allowing yourself to breathe in and out. When you're ready, gently to release out. Shaking out your feet, your toes, maybe a light tap. And we're going to make your way into a seat. Letting yourself come back on your hips and letting your legs come out in front of you. Now let your feet come about mat width apart. It can be a little bit wider, but not too wide or not too narrow. Finding length and staying right here. Maybe your hands are behind you, lifting your chest or beginning to lean forward. As we begin to touch into your hamstrings, we don't want to go as deep as we can right away. I'm going to begin to ease into it. One more breath here, deep breath in and out, slowly rising up. We're going to bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet to your mat, just let your knees windshield wiper side to side, finding movement through your hip, through your ankles, through your lower back. And we're going to find your bound angle, soles of your feet together. Your heels can be further away or a little bit closer towards your hips. You can have your hips up on a block or bolster, whatever feels best for you. Wherever you are working towards pressing your knees out and down. Finding length through your spine, maybe beginning to lean a bit forward. If your back starts to round a little bit, that's okay. But let you find the lean and extension first. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out, slowly rising back up and bring the soles of your feet back onto your mat and finding your windshield wiper once more, rocking from side to side. We're going to move into a pigeon variation. We're going to let your knees come over towards the left side. If you want to come into your full pigeon, just let the left leg be in front. So your full pigeon, just letting the right leg come all the way around. Or we can stay right here with the knees bent. So trying to bring the left foot to the right knee. Finding length, finding your left shin, beginning to lean over the shin. So if you're over towards the knee, it's less intense. If you're over towards the foot, it's more intense. Right in the middle is equally as intense. Finding that space that's right for you, that's right for you this day, and allowing yourself to be and breathe right there. Take two more breaths here, deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Slowly rising back up. If you're in your full pigeon, rolling to your hip and bring the knee back up and finding your rock side to side. We're going to move over towards your other side. I'm going to turn. Letting the knees come over towards the right, left knee to the sole of the right foot, 
lifting tall, finding your right shin and folding over the shin. And finding that right depth that's for you. Towards the knee is less intense, towards the foot is more intense. Taking one more full breath here. A deep breath in and out. Slowly rising up. Soles of your feet to your mat, letting your knees windshield wiper side to side a few more times. And then when you're ready, we're gonna extend your legs out long and take your feet a little bit wider than mat width. So if this is too much, you can come back to mat width or come a little bit wider. Don't go as far out as wide as you can. You might feel some cramping in your hips. Just come to somewhere in between. Finding length, beginning to fold forward. You might feel this in the same spot you felt the earlier fold. You might feel it somewhere different. But wherever you feel it, allowing you to breathe and be in that space. One more breath here, breath in and out. Slowly rising back up. And we're gonna lie all the way down onto your mat. Letting your knees hug into your chest. Find your light rock side to side. We're gonna find your lying twist. Letting your arms come out into a T and knees over towards the left. If the right shoulder comes off the ground, that's okay. Just be in a space so the elbow and the shoulder don't hurt. If you need a pillow or padding underneath the arm, or to move the arm in any way, please do so. Taking a few deep clearing breaths here. Deep breath in. And sighing it out. Another full deep breath in. And a sigh out. One more full breath in. And out. So as we come back through center, you can use your hands to help or just use your core. Finding any little rock side to side to readjust. And letting your knees come over towards the other side. Again, if the shoulder comes up or the arm, let it be wherever feels comfortable for you. Any amount of padding or bend, we're working with the lower back and your hip. The twist through the spine comes from there. Taking a breath in, and a big sigh out. Allowing everything to go. One more breath in. And out. Slowly coming back through center. Hugging your knees into your chest. And we're going to find your happy baby or happy baby variation. Letting your hands come to your knees. Draw your knees towards your armpits. So if you have any issues with your knees, you can bring your hands behind your thighs and hold it there. 
If you like, you can work your hands up to your ankles, shins, maybe to your feet. Wherever you are, letting your shoulders relax to the ground, hips drawing towards the ground, allowing yourself to breathe. One more breath here in and sighing it out. Gently releasing your knees to your chest, then all the way onto the ground. Finding your Shavasana, your final relaxation, lying open. So you're welcome to stay here and lie and let your body absorb everything that you've just done. Or when you're ready, allowing yourself to continue on with your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. The light in me sees and honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you.